Uh, first of all, congratulations. Bram, would you have turned off that bowl game if you weren't playing in it? Oh, no, no. no I would never count out the Frogs. Oh, you're down 31 to nothing. At, at, at what point, what was halftime like when it's 31 nothing? Um, it's a little stressful just sitting around, uh, especially not knowing if you're on a short leash or, or what, what, uh, what the coaches are thinking. So we haven't gotten anything going on offense. So you're sitting in the halftime, all the seniors are mo- trying to motivate people to step up and get things going and, uh, just sitting there and stressful and going over the game plan, what we haven't ran, what we need to run to, to get after, uh, and, 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 uh, just pick out that 31 point deficit. What did your coach – well, didn't uh, Coach Patterson change his clothes at halftime? Yeah, apparently all he needs to do is uh, change <laughs> change clothes and, and we get a victory at the second half. But, uh, no, we, we we really just focused up and, and we had a lot of penalties. We just – the first half was, was not frog football and the second half was, and that's what happened. When did you know, okay, we got a chance here? Um, coming out of the tunnel at halftime, everybody's mindset. We 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 kind of knew we've been doing it all year. Coming back in the second half, and and uh, once we got that 17 points on there, I was like, we can really do this. Like we're two scores, so away, and you know, defense was playing great. Uh, we were moving the ball on offense. It seemed like we couldn't get stopped. Uh, so it was, the O line was just unbelievable, and we we were able to to get a victory. Well, here you are. You're a walk on. You, emergency relief after uh, Boykin's run-in with the law here. you got to process all of this. That's pretty heady stuff. How nervous were you? Um, I was really nervous at first uh, going into the walkthrough and, and, and the, the one practice I did have with the ones. Uh, but I felt like I was prepared. I think all, all the quarterbacks on the roster were prepared. I think Coach Cumbie does a great job with us, and, and he, he's, really, he's really good at what he does. And, there's a reason why a bunch of schools were after him, and uh, well, I was prepared. I think I, I completely made uh, one really bad decision with that interception, but that, that's, that was honestly about it because I was because I was so coached up by Coach Cumby. When did you uh, tell your mom you were starting? Um, that that night uh, after practice, I, I gave her a call and I said, "I, I hope you're still coming." Uh, and <laughs> I'm, I'm the starting quarterback, and I think my my sister in law uh, changed her plans to get up there. And my brother, who is it's his birthday today, Gareth. It's a uh, it's a uh, 25th birthday, and uh, he'll, he'll be. Uh, we're all just having a good time, just you know, embracing this situation. But you uh, you got your mom to be you got to be able to get her on the field to embrace her. What did you say to your mom? Um, I just gave her a big hug, and, and she started crying and brought tears to my eyes. And uh, it was it was just a good moment to to just hug somebody that has has just loves you unconditionally. And it was just the best moment in my life right now. And you lost your father in November. When did you think of him? Um, right after the game, right when that clock ticked zero, I just wished like because I knew he would, he would be the first one standing in that front row, yelling my name to come give me a hug and. He was unfortunately there, and the whole time I was, I was. Everybody wanted to talk to me, but I, I was just really just looking for my mom, and uh, I was, I was scanning the stands, found her, somehow got her an, a, an Oregon sideline pass for a hundred dollars, and. Uh, wait, wait, wait! You, and, how did you, you got an Oregon sideline pass? Yeah, yeah, some Oregon fan who was, was on the sidelines just. Uh, <laughs> we bargained with him for a hundred bucks, and we got his sideline pass, and my mom came through. The security wouldn't let her through. How cool is that? It was it was one of the best, best moments in my life, and I want to thank that guy who did that. He's awesome. Who had the hundy the, to give it to the guy? My brother. <laughs> my brother. He's standing right next to him. <laughs> I noticed you were cramping up in the, in the second half. How how bad were the cramps? Um, it was it was tough to get through, but I mean, our, we have a great medical staff, and they they were uh, they got me through it. Uh, it was just ca- ca- calf cramps, and the the Alma Dome is it's it's pretty it's, it gets hot in there. Uh, but uh, well, I was able to get through, and it was, it was tough. Uh, I, was, I didn't know I was going to be able to make that last touchdown. I, I thought I was going to cramp up. <laughs> and coming out of high school, you were one of the top quarterbacks in the country, right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, and but you go to you go to. Let me see if I can follow this. University of Houston. <clears throat> yes, sir. And then Los Angeles Harbor College. Yes. 
I, I, I've never seen Los Angeles Harbor College play here, Bram. Can you tell me about Los Angeles Harbor College? It's a it's a good little JUCO out in California. I went there to because I was told I could play, and you know, uh, just I just needed to go somewhere and play and let somebody see me play. But unfortunately, I got hurt, and uh, my third game there, and had to had to come walk on here in Texas, it's close to home, and uh, it ended up being being a good decision for me. Is that your final football game ever? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I, that's I, I I think I think it probably will be, but. I don't know what 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 everybody else thinks. What are you keeping from that game for yourself? That I can lead a, a group of guys to 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 overcome a thirty-one point victory. I mean, there there's a lot that to do with it. Like great, great, unbelievable uh, performance by the offensive line, defense, and, and receivers. But what and, about memorabilia? Yeah, I mean, what what do you, do you keep your jersey? What what are you keeping from that game? Uh. I'm keeping this MVP trophy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one. You got to get the jersey and frame it here, Bram. Oh yeah, we I I have it somewhere around here. My brother was playing with it uh, the night we won. I, I don't know where it is right now, but I'll find it. And uh, I saw where you got some Twitter love. Uh, who were you surprised to hear from? <laughs> I got I apparently got a little Twitter love from uh, Manzel and, and Josh Gordon. Two, two uh, buddies of mine that play for the Browns. Well, Josh played uh, – you played uh, high school ball with Josh, didn't you? Yeah. Growing up, we, we played uh, one season together at Lamar High School with Coach Tom Nolan. Look at you. Good for you, Bram. It's a great story. Glad your mom and uh, your family there to be able to uh, to witness it. It's, uh, it. it's one of those that people will talk about every bowl season when they go, hey, remember when TCU was down by 31 – they pulled a coal. It's going to be called a Kohlhausen. You pulled a Kohlhausen <laughs> by coming back from 31 down. But, uh, hey, congratulations, Bram, and uh, whatever's next for you. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. All right. Bram Kohlhausen.